How's it going guys? My name is Dom and if I asked you, do you know how to use the string replace method in JavaScript? You would probably say yes. It's pretty straightforward. All you do is pass in a value to find and then whatever you pass through as the second argument, that's going to be used to replace the value that you provide in the first one. You might also say, well, you can pass through regular expressions and make it dynamic. For example, replacing all of the numbers with something else. Now that's pretty straightforward, but what if I told you, you can actually pass in a replacer function. So the replacer function is actually used to dynamically apply some different logic inside your replacements. So it's actually really powerful. And of course, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in today's video. All right, so right here I have a string called a and I've purposefully put a bunch of different odd and even numbers inside this string. So let's use the replacer function to only replace the even numbers as part of this string here with the at symbol. All right, so we can start off by defining a new constant here called no more evens, okay, equal to. Um, and now we're going to simply use the replace method. So first, I want to show you the standard usage of the method to, of course, replace all of the numbers, regardless if they're odd or even. So right here, we can say add, sorry, a dot replace and then pass through here the regular expression for the search value. So we can put something like this backslash D and then a G to um, have the global flag and of course uh, replace all occurrences of a digit, okay? So now, as the replacement uh, text, we can say something like the at symbol. So now of course, we're gonna see all of the numbers being replaced with an at, okay? So we can say here console.log no more evens. Of course, the variable name or constant name is not accurate just yet, but we're gonna fix that very shortly. So running this script here, uh, we can see that we of course get at is before at and at is after at, but before at. So uh, we can now sort of uh, use the replacer function to essentially only replace the even numbers. So how do we do that? Well, it's really straightforward. So Instead of providing a string here as the at, we can instead provide a function. So this function actually is going to give you access to a lot of data, but I want to focus on the most important uh, uh, parameter. That's going to be the actual value itself. So we can say something like number as the first parameter to this function right here. So now this number is going to essentially, or this function is going to run for every single number that gets picked up by this uh, search pattern. Okay, so of course, if you were searching by string here instead, you can probably name this something like string or value, but of course, this case here, we know that each uh, essentially find is going to be a number. So inside here, whatever we return from this function is gonna be used as the replacement. So to achieve the same effect, we can simply return the at symbol. I'll save this and run the code again, and we get the exact same result. So now we can add whatever logic we want inside this function and whatever we return, like I said, whatever gets returned is gonna be used as your replacement. So let's firstly grab the number as a string. Sorry, my mistake. Um, grab the number as a number because currently it's actually a string as we can see here because we're using a regular expression on a string here. Um, technically the number is actually, like for example, for three, number is actually equal to this, right? It's a string version of three and not the number version of three. So we're gonna convert it to a number first before trying to do any math on it, just to make sure our code is safe and it actually works as expected. So we can say, con sorry, my mistake. We can just say number is equal to, to replace that value, number is now equal to parse int and then pass through the current number and give it a radix of 10 just for base 10 so we make sure that we're getting the numbers back correctly and as expected so now we can simply just return the number plus one 
as another example. So if I add one to the number, we should now see four is before five and so on. I'll run this and we get four is before five and nine is after seven, but before 10. So you can see here the type of things you can do inside this replacer function. So let's make it work for only the even numbers. To find out if a number is even, we can simply say uh, if the number mod uh, mod zero, or sorry, mod two is equal to zero, then it's going to be an even number. So in that case, let's return at, otherwise we can simply keep the existing number. So now we can run it again and we can see only the even numbers right down here are being replaced. So this replacer function is actually extremely powerful and it lets you do a wide range of things inside here for your regular expression replacements. And that is all for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.